let's get right into this tutorial and so that's why you're here go into minecraft realms click configure realm and have your selected world there will be a flashing gray box around it if it's selected go into world options and click command blocks off so it says command blocks on then click done now join your world now type slash game mode creative and chat to do this press either slash or t and then the sentence slash game mode creative ending it by clicking enter now you want to get yourself a command block so type the command slash give your name command block click enter now place the command block down and make sure there is no box above it and you are not too close to build up the limit enter the command by right clicking it copy and place paste the command named main command in the description do this by highlighting the big command from the slash until the end which will be a bunch of brackets pressing ctrl c then going back into minecraft clicking the the command block text bar and pressing ctrl v now click needs redstone so it so it says always active and then click done And now your world will be hardcore. To demonstrate this, I'll be fighting the wither with a wooden sword. Now that I have died, I am now in game mode spectator. As you can see, you can spectate mobs in game mode spectator. But you cannot interact with any books. Now, if you want to set a custom amount of lives, copy and paste the command in the description, but using the same control V method labeled custom live change. Um, to change it to the amount of custom lives you would want, change the one at the end to the number you want. In this case, I've died once, so if I change it to two, I'll go back into survival. If I kill myself again, then I'll go back into spectator because I have died twice. However, if I change it to three, then it'll set me back into survival again. Same is true if you um, go down in lives. So if you go to, uh, since I'm on um, two deaths, if I go to one death, I'll be put in game mode spectator because I have died twice and therefore I have died more than once so it puts me into game mode spectator. Um, if I switch it back to two as well you can see that I'm still in spectator but if I switch it to three then I'll be back in survival. If you set it to a minus or zero um, then if you have died, then you will always go back, you will always turn into spectator. However, if you haven't died on the world yet, you will um, still be in survival. If you want to change the amount of someone's deaths, do slash scoreboard, players, um, add or remove. So in this case, if I want to add someone's death, for example, like, I don't know, um, I don't like them. Uh, then I go into click the do the player's name, and then do deaths, and then change it. And now I'm at three lives, and I'm in spectator. Now, if I, um, I you can also remove deaths. So if they like die unfairly, then if you do remove, then you can change it to. Uh, you can remove like the amount of deaths they have so you can move in this case i can move all three of my deaths and now i have zero death uh, at least that's how the game sees it um finally um you can also reset the entire um 
players' deaths. So if you do scoreboard players reset and then the player's name and then deaths, then it will completely get rid of all deaths they've ever had um, and won't even register that they um, have died. So, um, for example, if uh, you, the um, death was total deaths was zero or minus one, um, but you didn't what you wanted to allow the player to um, continue playing, then you'd have to do that, and then you'd have to slash game mode survival player name. Um, Finally, uh, if you do the command slash kill at E, it will stop the command from working. The same is true if you do the slash the command slash kill at E type equals armor stand. Um, if you want to kill all entities, um, then if you do slash key kill at E, uh, does not equal armor stand. Then it will kill everything apart from um, the. It will kill everything apart from armor stands, and prevent you from um, prevent the command block from stop from stop working. But if you do accidentally kill all entities, then you can just place down the command block blocks again, and then restart the command. 